what up what up what up it's your boy jb coming right back at you man welcome back to the channel y'all know the routine man match that like button hit that subscribe button turn on that bell for notifications i had to jump on here real fast because young thug's lawyer is really about that life young thug's lawyer is really about that life i don't know if you guys saw the news but ashley merchant who is also one of the lawyers for one of the uh defendants in the trump trial in Fulton County. She is back at it again, man. And and Young Thug, his lawyer, heard, allegedly heard a conversation or heard about a conversation that the judge for this RICO trial against Young Thug was having with the prosecutor. But the prosecutor and the judge should have made sure that the defendants knew about it. And allegedly there was a confession that this that that someone else has killed somebody that wasn't the defendant who Brian Steele was representing, and the judge said, "If you don't tell me who told you this, I'ma hold you in contempt." The judge stood on business. I mean, the the, the young, young thug's lawyer stood on business, guys. This thing is crazy, and when he wouldn't give it up, the judge told him, "I'ma hold you in contempt." Sentence this man to 20 days in jail. Going to make him report to jail 7 o'clock Friday night. And he gets out 7 o'clock Sunday night. And Ashley Merchant was just reading this judge the riot act on showing him that what he was trying to do to this lawyer was not legal. Was not constitutional. Now clearly guys, this thing going to end up on appeal. It's going to end up getting overturned. But not only is the Trump portion of the RICO charges in Fulton County on hold. Now I think this case with Young Thug is going to be put on hold. The judge, after being told by Ashley Merchant that everything he was doing was wrong, still said he going to hold this man in criminal contempt. 20 days in jail, and he has to do it over the course of 10 weekends. So from now until basically August, this man is going to be reporting to jail. But Young Thug's lawyer stood on business. I'm going to tell you guys, if you've ever dealt with lawyers, the lawyer don't care about you. The lawyer care about getting their check. The lawyer is always trying to make deals and trying to stay in good graces with the judge, trying to work deals with the prosecutor. If you deal with lawyers, you realize that the lawyer doesn't have your best interest. The lawyer has their best interest because they try to make sure they can cut deals with future uh, prosecutors and future officers of the court. Now, this is one of the longest RICO cases, one of the longest cases I've ever seen on TV. You know, you can watch this, you can watch this trial on TV. But the judge thought that the lawyer was going to be afraid. But Brian Steele, Young Thug's lawyer, stood on business. This guy said, okay, if you're going to send me to jail, put me in there with Young Thug every weekend so we can continue to work on our case. Because he doesn't want to proceed if I'm not going to be able to represent him fully. So put me in his cell. The judge didn't know what to say. The judge said, man, I don't control that, but I'll make sure I let the sheriff know that if he can accommodate it, I will. Guys, how many of you guys have ever dealt with a lawyer where you felt this lawyer was in the trenches with you like this? Guys, I think this is a turning point in this case against Young Thug and YSL. This judge has held this man in contempt. This man did not shy away from going to jail. If you watch it on TV, the man took his tie off took his jacket off he ready to go to jail right now the judge was not ready but he cannot let the judge know and he's not obligated according to ashley merchant to let the judge know who told him that they were having conversations where information that would exonerate his client was being talked about so all he got to do is stand his ground guys and y'all might see that the young thug may be getting off of this rico case in fulton county I don't know what Fonnie Willis got going on, but it is not good in Fulton County right now. The judge, the prosecutor cannot have meetings without allowing the defense to be there as well. Guys, this thing is getting ugly. Young Thug's lawyer has stood on business. This man is going to be in the, in the jail with Young Thug explaining and standing with him, guys. If you've ever been through a legal case, you ain't never felt like your lawyer would go to jail with you. Matter of fact, they don't care if you go to jail or not. They just want their money. 
Young Thug's lawyer is different. And I'm gonna tell you like this, no judge or prosecutor was expected for a lawyer to care more about their client than to care about their own reputation. Y'all get down in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about the Young Thug case if you if you familiar with it. Ashley Merchant then turned over the tables in the Trump case and now she's turned it over in the Young Thug case. This woman is gonna be headed to higher heights, different heights. She about to have her own TV show. Cause what she's doing down there in Fulton County, guys, is short of amazing with how she's just turning these cases upside down. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. It's Jeff Crazy or it's Jeff on the summit. If you hadn't already, mash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell for notifications. And until next time, we gonna holler.